I can't. I'm done. You have to... Alright guys, here we are, we're back. We're back with uh, Spider-Man 2, episode 20. Uh, this might be the last episode. Depends on how long it takes to get through. Uh, I've got to work tonight, so I don't know how long I can play, but because I do need to get some sleep. This might be the last. If not, there'll be one more after this, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get started. Oh, MJ's in the hive. Miles is out there keeping all the symbiote uh, infestations away from her. And she's going to go in here and try to steal that rock. In the meantime, Pete distracted uh, Venom and ran him off. Didn't run him off, but uh, Venom went off after Pete trying to catch him. So now MJ's in here and she's going to have to get the rock. Fight her way in and fight her way out. So let's see if we can do this. See if there's anything we can kill from the safety of this barrier. But I guess not.
Well, of course not. The game cannot be completed without The Rock. And we're not talking about Dwayne Johnson either. Meteorites connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world. alive. Please let this lead to more good. Looks like my exit's just past the chopper. Get the hell. 
hell out of here. Sure, your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry. Harry. This is where we became best friends. Yeah, it is. Join us. Please, remember everything we've been through. Your mom got sick! We couldn't see her like that. Your mom saw us like this! We make each other better. 
she always said so. Symbiote's dropping in. Not working! Stay calm! Take him out one at a time! Get free Harry with more anti-venom! Venom's gonna sting Harry! Oh no, hell!
messing with your head, Harry! You're my best friend! Then why don't you trust us? I trust you, Harry! Not that thing you're wearing! We are not a thing! <laughs> You're stronger than the symbiote, Harry! Fight it! More of these guys? Take those things out! One at a time! One at a time! gonna heal the world with you! Not like this! The meteorite. You took it from us! What in the hell?
right in the head off. doesn't belong to you! You trust me! Don't want your future! I need to get up to him. Can't 
see it now. But we're not so different, man. Thought I clipped his wings. Pete, better off without you. We all are. Send this. Have time? No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you.
Let's heal the world, Pete. Together. Give me some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try. I guess that's it, guys.
pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you, wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. The G serum? ASAP. Would that be the goblin serum? For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. <sighs> uh, 
You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you there all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Big bro. See you. What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. Haley's gonna be the new supervillain. Hope you're hungry. Never fails. Who's almost ready? Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. <laughs> so she's deaf. So she's gonna have some type of super ability. Some type of sonar thing. Some guy in Harlem. Probably seen him volunteering in the city. Helping out his city council mom. And trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. Thank you. 
Hi. Miles, Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, this is my daughter, Cindy. Cindy. How wild is that? That is my wife's name. What's up, New York? Continue the adventure. MJ. You know, you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Okay, we gotta go see know. what all this is about. I thought it Break was over. Zone. Welcome back, Dana Club. We did it. We survived the impossible. Drove back a friggin' alien invasion. And we did it together. As heroes. The Spider-Men led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. Today I am so pleased to talk with one of those heroes. Author, journalist, and avid motorcyclist. Please welcome Mary Jane Watson. Thanks, Danica. Please call me MJ. MJ it is. So, I ate up your book about Simcaria in a single sitting. Thank you for giving this to the world. It's so important. I heard we're going to get even more of your words in the form of a new project. Can you tell us more about it? Happy to. I've been thinking a lot about what's really important. Nothing will make you rethink your life like a citywide alien invasion, right? Relatable. And I realized how important the truth is. I started a podcast called The New Normal. I don't know where New York is headed, but I'm looking forward to finding out. With all of you out there, I want to be honest and report what's really happening in the city. Straight up, no exaggerations, no clickbait, you know? I know exactly what you mean. When you let that junk creep in, it takes over the truth, warps it into something else, like a, a... Like a symbiote. Mary Jane Watson, everybody. Any last notes you'd like to leave us with? Stay safe out there. Oh, and if you have motorcycle insurance, make sure it includes a villain damage clause. I could feel the pain in your voice there. I'm working through it. Danica Hart and Mary Jane Watson, signing off. Okay, so I thought Pete was done, but apparently he is not. So let's see what we got going on. What's this? Plants and a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I know Norman, I think. For you because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these, and I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, 
I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree, and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, you might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Oh. Well, okay. Ooh. I knew you could do it, Pete. Now, you know those little bee drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on, in the city, and, of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? One last thing. I got a little something for you. We're in good health. <laughs> Love you. Can you smell the change in the air? It's fresh and clean. A new day for this world. Staring down the face of the apocalypse offers a new perspective on life. Time to let go of old grievances. Rearrange priorities. While the world waited with bated breath to see if they would be next. New York stood tall and held the line. We did not acquiesce. After we take a moment to celebrate the freedom we have. <laughs> Not to brag, but I could have programmed those way better.
Yeah, well, I did think that Pete was going to, uh, do something different, but... Seriously? But we killed all these things. Symbiote's dropping in. Just to be safe, I recommend going home as soon as you can. Alright, anyway, we're going to cut it off right there. That concludes Spider-Man 2. Spider -Man 2. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're long. We're going uh, to pick it up with The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. It's going to be released in about 10 more days. 10 more days from my time. Right now it's January the 8th. Stay tuned for that. We also still, I still have Modern Warfare that we haven't started. We'll get there. We'll get there. So, I appreciate y'all following me on this adventure. And stay tuned for the, the next IP, the next game. So, with that being said, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And... With that, we'll catch you next time.